All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my weekly review for this week's episode of Game of Thrones Season 6. This is for Episode 9, The Battle of the Bastards. Whoo! Whoo! And spoiler the warning, if you guys have not seen this episode yet, you definitely go fucking watch it right now. Don't watch this fucking review. I'm going to screw it up for you. Watch the episode first. This was hands down the best episode of a TV series I have ever seen. I mean, for me, like, this is something where I remember in season, let's see, what is it? <sighs> oh. You get my thoughts together in <laughs> the Battle of the Five Kings. When you see uh, some of the earlier episodes, you have like Rob versus Tywin, of course, and you've got their armies that are going at it a little bit when Jamie's captured. You know, you get to see a little bit, but they don't, they didn't show us the reality and the brutality of war. And in this one, we get to see, I mean, this is some of the darkest war ever because, of course, Modern day, you have guns, you have, you know, a better weapons, so it's a lot cleaner. You just shoot somebody and they're, they're down, right? And it, it, it's brutal, too. But there's, there's, I don't know if there's anything as brutal as a good old-fashioned sword fight uh, like that, man. I mean, this one was incredible. So this was directed by uh, Miguel uh, Sapochnik. Same guy who directed Hard Home and The Gift from last season, season five, and that's it. And he's also directing next week's episode, uh, episode 10, the uh, the actual finale for season six. This beautiful man has created, has done, you know, I mean, I'm going to watch for him from now on. When, when, I, when I know that this dude is directing, if you see this dude on the episode guide, you know you're in for some shit. This guy has directed probably the two best episodes of Game of Thrones ever, being Hard Home and The Battle of the Bastards. Um, and I would say The Battle of the Bastards being the best episode of a television series ever. This is the best episode, at least for me and what I like to see. This is the best episode ever made, to current date. This was a gauntlet throw until anybody else is ready to try and touch this. This was the best episode of a, of a, ser of a series I've ever seen by far. I mean, by leaps and bounds. Like, it, it's not even comparable. The battle in this one, the brutality, the the emotion, the the everything about it was just incredible. I mean, you see, uh, John's in the middle, and you got just bodies everywhere to the point where, like, you feel. I mean, I got invested in this one to the point where I felt like I got muscle pumps. You know, I'm watching, I'm getting so tense. I'm like, I'm like, well, am I? I'm not lifting, but I'm getting like muscle pumps. I'm getting like testosterone. Like, like I don't need a booster or something or some juice. I, you know, I'm just getting like pumps just from watching this shit. <laughs> this shit was crazy. You've got him, and he's getting. You know, he's getting, like, all these people going above him, bodies everywhere. You see the, the mound of bodies. There's just, like, bodies piled up everywhere. And to the point where it's, like, claustrophobic because they're all kind of coming all uh, coming all, all over everywhere and falling and, and everything and, and trampling all over him, and they're all just getting pushed. Oh, my God. I mean, just from beginning to end, like, from the very first scene to the very last scene, this one was absolutely incredible. And I have never seen... I've never been so excited watching an episode of a, of a series. I've never been so invested into a battle. And, and also unsure, like... Right up until the last part here, you know, it, it kind of went how a lot of us predicted, which was the battle would be going, and maybe it wouldn't be looking so good for our uh, for John and and our kind of uh, joint uh, Stark uh, team at this point. And as we thought, the uh, the veil comes in, you know, and uh, uh, and uh, ganks uh, Ramsey's army, so to speak. And with that, they're able to overpower them. They're able to. Uh, knock him down and and win the battle. But I mean, oh my goodness, it was just so exciting. And to a point there, I almost thought that you know, and they all they they, they did well to set it up too, because it's like you know, who knows? Uh, Melisandre tells him maybe uh, the Lord of uh, of Light uh, brought you back just to uh, just to die again. And uh, what kind of uh, what kind of God would do that? The one we have. And I'm thinking like, who is the <laughs> who is this God? It's got to be George R. R. Martin. He's the one, dude. He, he's <laughs> one true god of game of thrones dude that's the one you're whose universe you're living in brothers and sisters and it's it, it's not the best <laughs> that's uh the one we've got yeah 
He's a little, he's a little crazy. He's a little sadistic. So I wasn't a hundred percent like in this one thinking that for sure John, John and the others are going to win. I mean, I, you know, that's what I predicted in the predictions video. If you saw it, I thought it was that's how it was going to go. But you know, it was just like with Game of Thrones, you can never be sure. You, you never know for sure. And uh, man, that was just what, what a spectacle. What just the visuals, man. I mean. Just the way the whole battle played out, and when they get, when they get, you know, they talk about the pincer move, and, and they actually are able to surround them and and crunch them in with, um, with the spears and everything, and it's just what they were kind of afraid of, and that's exactly what happens. Um, wow, man, just just incredible. So not only did we get to see the best battle uh, ever, I mean, the the opening sequence was incredible too. You get to see kind of the uh, the masters and their their catapults and, and the ships and attacking marine. And then we get to see Daenerys and the dragons come out and just uh, unleash uh, unleash uh, hellfire on them, and that was a pretty awesome sequence as well too to see. I mean, you see the dragons coming up, you see her like riding uh, Drogon, and um, you know them killing uh, two uh, of, of the masters. Great Worm kills two, and the one they tell him that uh, he's a messenger, basically. Uh, you know, don't kill the messenger, keep him alive to send the message. Um, so even the even the intro sequence was incredible. Also like the part with uh, Theon and, and Yara who uh, see Daenerys and she accepts them, which I thought was really cool too. Because again, this is all stuff we have no idea what's going to happen with. So I like that. I thought it was good against uh, Euron, so to speak, and, and the others. They've got quite a few ships for her. And I did like how Yara and her were able to kind of have uh, almost an instantaneous relationship because... They're both they're both female leaders, right? And that's very rare in this uh, in this type of world. Um, so that was really good too. And then the Ramsey stuff with John and then Sansa in the end. I mean the dogs. I I didn't I, I didn't think we were gonna see him be killed by the dogs, but it was pretty incredible, especially when John was beating the shit out of him too. Uh, he's just beating him down, ground and pounding his face in, and uh, and then of course I'm saving him, and then later uh, Sansa unleashing the uh, the hounds on him was was brutal, especially when it bites him in the face. Um, so man, I mean, so many incredible parts. I, I feel like I can't possibly you know go over everything because this was just so packed. There was so many incredible like little little things that happened during the battle, like of course the giant uh, bashing in the door and then getting shot finally by. Uh, by Ramsey with the uh, with the last uh, arrow, um, just absolutely incredible. Also, like the part when he's like ripping the guy in, <laughs> he's like ripping him in half and everything. And uh, you know when when uh, Baelish is there with Sansa, and then they come around and they just start cleaning it around and everything. Oh my God, so well done. Just visually looked so impressive, so incredible. It was absolutely. Absolutely freaking crazy. So, and, and I also like too the line before with Sansa, and she's talking with John, and and it's kind of like who's who's gonna fall for whose plan is 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 John gonna uh, fall for Ramsay because Ramsay likes to toy with people and play with people. It seems like he's going to for a bit there, and even the way they shot it too, as the others come charging in behind him, it seems like he's by himself right there. Um, as 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 you know, Bolton uh, as forces are coming in, they're coming back. Uh, the Umbers did not turn on Ramsey, which was a little bit unexpected. A lot of us thought that uh, that uh, you know they were going to because they seemed like it, but I guess um, they I guess until the, the veil showed up, they pretty much figured they were going to win. You know, one way or another, it seemed like it seemed like Ramsey's forces were were going to win. And you've got you know all the arrows flying and everything like that. You got just uh, piles of bodies. And pretty much both sides losing the majority, I would say, of their of their fighting uh, team as the bodies just pile up in piles. And even to the point where, like, when some of them are walking up and trying to go over, the other ones are like calling out for help, you know, stuff as they're like dismembered and stuff, or just 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 beaten and stabbed and everything. Oh my gosh, man, absolutely crazy! So I can't wait to watch this one again. This is no doubt. I, I think this was better than Hard Home. I mean, Hard Home's cool too. You've got the zombies and everything, which is awesome. The undead and the Night's King and everything. Um, but I mean, this was just this was something else, man. I mean, just the un, not maybe not unpredictability, but I also wasn't sure if Ramsey was going to be killed this episode. I thought maybe he'd get away. This kind of deal, maybe. And then even right up to the part where they're chasing him into Winterfell, and he's going back, and you're thinking, and Sansa's looking, and she sees him, and it's like, oh damn, is, are they going to get lured in? Is John going to get killed as he follows him in, and then the rest come in? Is he being too hasty? This kind of thing. Just what an intense sequence. This episode must have taken up like half the budget for the whole season because this was this was very satisfying. I mean, to watch Game of Thrones, this is kind of like uh, the type of battle, the type of type of sequence 
that I always wished that we could see visualized. Like it's something that I always wish we could see the full type of battle play out. And not until this kind of episode have I ever seen, you know, something like this to the point where it feels like you are right there behind John, you know, in in the hot seat. <laughs> You're right there with him. And all this shit's going on around him. Absolutely amazing, man. They went for it and uh, and they got it. This is the best episode of a series ever. So, um, oh man, I, I won't say too much else about it. I won't go over all the different, you know, details and everything because there's just so much. But um, my God, I mean, what an absolutely incredible battle. And um, I mean, next week's episode, episode 10, we'll, we'll talk about more in the predictions video. Should be pretty good too, the winds of winter. But this one definitely, you can see, was... Um, was one of the best battle sequences ever recorded in an episode. And I'd be absolutely shocked if this one didn't win pretty much every award there is because it was just, oh my God. As, as a fan, as a viewer, this is uh, my favorite episode of a series ever for sure. And my favorite episode of Game of Thrones ever. This was just on a totally another level. Just a totally another level than anything else I've seen. So, um, yeah, that's... Uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to say about the episode, man. Write your comments below, guys. You know, Ramsey kills or Ramsey's dead now. Uh, when they, you know, put down the banners. Oh, you see, there's so many things. Like, I could go on for probably an hour. Um, just oh, uh, so many incredible visuals and such a rewarding and great uh, episode to see. And it's like with this episode, the Starks are sort of... Um, all the things that have happened so far, you know, majority of it, except for the phrase, and, you know, the Lannisters are still out there, too. But with after this one, of course, um, you know, the men that turned on um, Rob, except for the phrase, are, are pretty much, the Boltons have been have been defeated or are dead in, in brutal, brutal fashion. So, incredible, man. My favorite episode of the series ever. Just what, what, what... Uh, a spectacle, man. Just to see that, you know, it's like if you ever want to feel what it feels like to be uh, that kind of battle, that's just, oh man, that's it. That's the closest, I think that's about the closest you're going to get uh, in terms of a show to to feeling like you're really there, you know, that, that you're pretty much going to get. I think they just absolutely killed it. This one gets a perfect score for me, 10 out of 10. Best episode of a series ever, for sure. Uh, write your comments below. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you back in an hour for my predictions for the winds of winter. And um, shit, man, Game of Thrones just uh, on their game, for sure. HBO killing it. Write your comments below. Uh, if you guys like this video, please thumb it up below. You can also share and favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, you can subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for my review for Battle of the Bastards, best episode of a series ever. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See ya. You better subscribe.